2022 Ford Maverick towing a trailer. I'm towing a trailer precautions. Do not exceed the GVWR or the GAWR specified on the certification label. Towing trailers beyond the maximum recommendation, uh, recommended gross trailer weight, exceeds the limit of your vehicle and could result in engine damage, transmission damage, structural damage, loss of vehicle control, vehicle rollover, and personal injury. Do not exceed the lowest rating capacity for your vehicle or trailer hitch. Overloading your, tra- your vehicle or trailer hitch can impair your vehicle stability and handling. Fear to follow this instruction could result in loss of control of your vehicle, injury, or death. Make sure that the vertical load on the tow ball is between the minimum and maximum recommended weight at all times. Fear to follow this instruction could result in loss of control of your vehicle, personal injury, or death. Do not cut or drill well to modify the trailer hitch. Modifying the trailer hitch could reduce the hitch rating. And the anti-lock brake system does not control the trailer brakes. Trailer brake precautions. Do not connect the trailer hydraulic brake system directly to your vehicle brake system. Your vehicle may not have enough braking power and your chances of, of having a collision will greatly increase. Do not tow a trailer fitted with the electric trailer brake unless your vehicle is fitted with a compatible aftermarket electronic trailer brake controller. Fail to follow this instruction could result in the loss of control of your vehicle, personal injury, or death. For additional information and assistance, we recommend that you contact your authorized dealer. Now, electric brakes and manual, automatic, or surge type trailer brakes are safe if you install them properly and adjust them to the manufacturer's specifications. The trailer brakes must meet local and federal regulations. The rating for the uh, tow vehicle braking system operation is at a gross vehicle weight rating, not the gross combined weight rating. Certain states require functioning trailer brakes for trailers over a specified weight. Be sure to check your state regulations for the specified rate. Ford Motor Company recommends separate functioning brake systems for trailers weigh more than 1,500 pounds when loaded. Towing the trailer limitations. The vehicle load capacity designation is by weight, not by volume. So you cannot necessarily use all available space when loading a vehicle or trailer. Your vehicle could have reduced performance when operating at high altitudes and when heavily loaded or towing a trailer. When driving at elevation to match driving performance as perceived at sea level, reduce gross weight and gross combination weight by 2% at 1,000 feet elevation. And that's 2% per 1,000 feet elevation. Loading your trailer. To help minimize your trailer movement, affect your vehicle when driving. Load the heaviest items closest to the trailer floor. Load the heaviest items centered between the left and the right side trailer tires. Load the heaviest items above the trailer axle or just slightly forward toward the trailer tongue. Do not allow the final trailer tongue weight to go above 10 to 15 percent of the loaded trailer weight. The trailer tongue weight should never exceed 10% of the maximum towing capacity. Select a ball mount with the correct rise or drop when both the loaded vehicle and the trailer are connected. The trailer frame should be level or slightly angled down toward your vehicle when viewed from the side. Trailer towing hints. Towing a trailer, place an extra load on your vehicle's engine, transmission, axle, brakes, tires, and suspension. 
Periodically inspect these components during and after any towing operation. When driving with a trailer at payload, a slight takeoff vibration or shudder may present due to the increased payload weight. Your vehicle may have a temporary or conventional spare tire. A temporary tire is different in diameter or width. Tread type R is from a different manufacturer than a road tire on your vehicle. Consult information on the tire label or safety compliance label for limitations when using. Now, when towing the trailer, obey all country specific regulations for towing the trailer. Do not drive faster than 70 miles per hour. And during the first 500 miles. And do not make full throttle starts. Check your uh, hitch electrical connect connections and trailer wheel lug nuts thoroughly after you have traveled uh, 50 miles. When stopped in congested or heavy traffic during the hot weather, place the transmission in park to aid the uh, transmission cooling and to help your AC performance. Turn off the speed control when heavy loads are, in a, are when you're in a hilly terrain. The speed control may turn off when you are towing on long steep slopes. Shift to a lower gear when driving down a long steep hill. Do not continuously apply the brakes as they may overheat and become less effective. If your transmission has a great assist or tow haul, use this feature when towing. This provides engine braking and helps eliminate excessive transmission shifting for optimum fuel economy and transmission cooling. Your vehicle has advanced track with road stability control when towing the trailer. Additional loads could cause the advanced track system to engage during cornering. Maneuvers reduce cornering speed. To make sure you can maintain control of the vehicle and trailer if the advanced track system is engaged. A lot more distance for stopping when a trailer is attached. Anticipate stops and, gradu and gradually brake. And avoid parking on a slope. However, if you must park on a slope, turn the steering wheel to the point your vehicle tires away from traffic. Uh, the flow set the uh, parking brake, place the transmission in park. And place the wheel chocks in the front and in the back of the trailer wheels. Chocks are not included with the vehicle. Launching or retrieving a boat or personal watercraft. When backing down a ramp during boat launching or retrieval, do not allow the static water level to rise above the bottom edge of the rear bumper. Do not allow waves to break higher than um, six inches above the bottom edge of the rear bumper. A sitting six inches could allow water to enter the vehicle components, causing internal damage to the components and affecting drivability and em emissions and reliability. Replace the rear axle lubricant any time the rear axle has been submerged in water. Disconnect the trailer wiring connectors before bagging a trailer into the water. And reconnect the trailer wiring connectors after removing the trailer from the water. Towing weights and dimensions. Recommended towing weights. Uh, in the United States, you can go to fleet.forward.com. And in Canada, you can go to fleet.forward Canada. And, uh, and towing guides. That is the end of towing the trailer for the 2022 Ford Maverick. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. Maverick is a new kind of pickup. Versatile and capable. Built for makers and doers. Stunningly fuel efficient and built for tough. It's the truck for people who never knew they needed a truck. Here's everything you need to know about the all-new Ford Maverick in just three minutes. Maverick is the first ever standard full hybrid truck. Maverick comes standard as a five-passenger, four-door pickup, 
available in XL, XLT, and Lariat trim levels. The standard 2.5 liter hybrid has a targeted EPA estimated rating of 40 miles per gallon in the city and 500 miles of range on a single tank of gas. The truck bed is a maker space. This flex bed system offers all kinds of organization and DIY solutions like vertical and horizontal slots for 2x4 and 2x6 boards that you can use to build your own bike racks, service bed dividers, or any number of other solutions. A multi-position tailgate and 10 available tie-downs to secure your items. Two available 110 volt outlets, one in the cabin and one in the bed, can power phones, tools, and electronics. And a standard electric 12 volt DIY pre-wire package in the bed can be used for wiring lights and a four and a half foot bed. Six feet with the tailgate down can help haul bikes, furniture, or that next DIY project you're working on. Maverick has a lower ride height, which makes getting in and out a breeze. And most adults can reach over the side and easily grab whatever you need. It has a max payload capacity of 1,500 pounds and standard towing capacity of 2,000 pounds. And of course, Maverick is built for tough. The available 2-liter EcoBoost engine, which provides optional all-wheel drive, also has an available max towing package of 4,000 pounds. Maverick is built with smart technology like a standard embedded modem, which allows you to start, lock, and unlock your vehicle from your Ford Pass app. The standard 8-inch touchscreen also provides seamless integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto five selectable drive modes to help enhance performance and confidence in various driving conditions. It has Ford Copilot 360 technology like standard automatic emergency braking and auto high beams, as well as available adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, and evasive steering assist capabilities. This truck was designed with smart storage solutions to accommodate how people live. Like there's a place to store a tall one liter water bottle. Store your gear in the large bins under the rear seat, door pockets for stashing laptops or tablets, and bed storage for things like tools or rope. Maverick boasts a tight turning radius and compact size for easy driving and parking around the city. Maverick has city maneuverability with truck functionality. The truck is ingeniously designed to be customized inside and out to suit your lifestyle. And it delivers on the built Ford Tough durability and capability you expect. Finally, the all new Ford Maverick starts at just under 20 grand. To say automotive reviews, thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And have an awesome and fantastic day. Much love. And again, thanks for coming by.